Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your flying weather outlook for the weekend and week ahead brought to you exclusively by Flyer Magazine in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Um, looks as if things are going to be fairly quiet as we go through the course of the weekend and into next week. Higher pressure is building. That gives us some weather windows, but it also gives us problems with fog as well. I think daytimes the fog does tend to lift from some areas but that leaves us with hazy conditions. So we've got to be prepared for sort of hit and miss conditions uh, over the coming days. Some reduced visibility as well. Keep a very careful eye on the forecast. Now we're rapidly approaching the last posting dates for Christmas. I know that many of you um, have already got orders in for my pocket weather forecaster uh, book, which is this one. Uh, that consists of uh, 84 pages of uh, full colour pictures of clouds. It's a really handy uh, book for being able to identify clouds and the weather that they bring. Real coffee table book for both uh, people like us as pilots who need to know about weather and weather enthusiasts as well. And then I've got my WeatherWise DVD, which is little five minute section videos going for two hours, explaining things like um, the atmosphere, air masses, fronts, etc, etc. Both of those available from the Weather School shop. But uh, as I say, we're rapidly approaching that final posting day for Christmas. So if you want to order now, go to weatherschool.co.uk and we'll make sure those are in the post before that last ordering date, which I think may be Saturday. Now, not only that, um, you're already booking on to Aviation Weather School Part 1. My next Aviation Weather School is on the Saturday mornings. The consecutive Saturday mornings it's split over two Saturday mornings of the 5th and the 12th of February next year between 09.30 and 12.30 hours. So if you want to understand more about the weather, the way that it affects our flying, how you can forecast it yourself, how you can fly more safely and maximise the weather to your advantage. So, you know, if you're looking at Form 214, 215, Metals and SAFs and it's leaving you confused, then this is the course for you. I'll show you as well how to spot weather windows up to five days in advance. To book your place now, go to weatherschool.co.uk. That's what you'll see. Come down to Aviation, Aviation Weather School live online course, and uh, you'll find more information about the course there. And you can book your place now by just clicking there at the link on the right hand side. It'd be great, <clears throat> excuse me, great to see you there. As I say, those places booking up pretty quickly. So, uh, do get them out and book your place if you're going to be coming along. So that is Aviation Weather School Part 1 on the 5th and the 12th of February. OK, then on with the forecast. And we've got high pressure over the top of us through the rest of Thursday. Some hazy conditions, bits of mist, bits of fog developing. I think particularly this evening across much of England and Wales. Warm front up towards the north of uh, Scotland, bringing some drizzle here. Elsewhere, generally broken cloud, flyable conditions, but uh, I think visibility tending to reduce during the course of the day. On to Friday, high pressure centred over northern England, and you notice it's affecting much of the country. Light winds, clearer skies, that spells fog. So I think for much of the Midlands, Wales, northern England, Scotland, much of Ireland, we've got the risk of fog. Now, in some places it will clear, others it won't. This is just the nature of the foggy situation that we may be going into. So um, all down to really the forecast on the day. Increased winds across southern England and western Ireland. You see there the isobar close together. So that mixing things up. So I think here we're going to be finding bases about 3,000 feet. Tops at about 6,000 feet. And I think the risk of fog much lower. On to Saturday, the high still hangs around. So again, fog is going to be a problem. Midlands, Wales, Northern England, Scotland, Northern Ireland. Further south, cloud more broken again. Probably 2,000 foot bases tops at around 5,000 feet. Pretty hazy as well. On to Sunday, the high is drifting off towards the north. Fog again, a problem for Scotland, Northern England, much of Ireland. Once again, lifting in places, not in others, leaves us with hazy conditions. And I think that with this northeast flow, really much of the country under hazier conditions. Southern areas, probably flyable to marginal, depending on how much haze there is around. Base is 2,000 feet, tops at 5,000 feet again. And then getting into next week, Monday, the high pressure over Scotland on Monday affects Northern England as well. So once again, we're going to call it fog across much of Scotland, Northern England, the Midlands and Ireland. Important to stress here that fog is going to be a little bit hit and miss. Depends on how much cloud we have. But this is setting itself up for quite a foggy situation, if not fairly hazy or cross across southern areas. Here we should find uh, cloud just gradually lifting in marginal to VFR here. 
probably a 2,000 foot base, tops at about 5,000 feet. And then for Tuesday, what do you know? High pressure still there. Once again, foggier conditions. Should we get some cloud over the top, we'll have less of them. Fog lifts turns into haze. I think for uh, southern England, again, the cloud more broken because of the east northeasterly wind. Still quite hazy there. And by haze, something in 4 5k visibility at best. 2,000 foot bases, 5,000 foot tops. And then for Wednesday, again, high pressure over the top of us. Fog once more, lots of mist, lots of haze around, reduced visibility. If you get some flying in, you will be lucky. I think, again, important to note, there will be flying during this period. It's just difficult to pin down exactly where that is going to be. So, pretty murky, pretty misty conditions ahead. We do talk more about fog at Aviation Weather School. And as I said, the next one is on the Saturday mornings, the 5th and the 12th of February. It makes a perfect Christmas gift as well, if somebody's looking for something to buy for you. So uh, that's between 09.30 and 12.30 hours. Book your place now at weatherschool.co.uk. As I say, go to the homepage, come to Aviation, Aviation Weather School, live online course part one. Click on that and that's the page that you'll get. If you want to see more about what's covered, just click on the video here towards the top right hand corner. And book your place by just clicking on the link there. It'll be wonderful to see you there and you'll join many other pilots who've already been to Aviation Weather School and benefited from it. Have a look at the review section for that. And again, that's at weatherschool.co.uk. OK, I will leave you with that for now. I'll have an update with the flyer team on Thursday evening. But for now, whatever you're doing, thanks again for watching. Keep the sun shining. Have a fantastic weekend and bye for now.